In this video, we are going to learn about the segments that are created from chords that intersect in a circle. First, let's look at this circle and draw in two chords. Remember that a chord is a segment that connects two points on a circle, just like that. If I draw a second chord that intersects my first, notice that four different little segments have been created. One, two, three, and four. And there was a relationship between all four of these segments. The relationship is the product of the lengths of the two segments on each chord will be the same. So in other words, A times B will be the same as C times D. And notice that A and B are on the same chord and C and D are also on the same chord. So, for example, if D was 8 and C was 2 and A was 6, we could solve for B using this relationship. We would know that 6 times B equals 2 times 8. In other words, 6B equals 16. So, B equals approximately 2.67. So anytime you have a situation where there's two chords intersecting and you know three of the segments, you'll always be able to solve for the fourth segment using this relationship. Next, we're going to talk a little bit about where this formula comes from. If we have our two intersecting chords, and draw in two additional segments in order to create two triangles, we can show that those two triangles have to be similar. First of all, we know that these two angles are congruent because they're vertical angles which are always congruent. Similarly, these two angles are also congruent and the reason is they are both inscribed angles of the same arc right here, so they have to be congruent. So by angle angle, these two triangles have to be similar because they have two pairs of angles that are congruent. So if those triangles are similar, it means that there is a proportional relationship between their sides. So we could say that A over D would have to be the same ratio as C over B because A and D are two sides on the triangle on the left, which match with C and B, the corresponding sides of the triangle on the right. Now, if we take this equation and just cross multiply in order to rewrite it, what we end up with is A times B equals C times D, which was exactly the equation we had before. So what you should remember is this result that we talked about up here is a result of similar triangles. And the triangles are created if you just add in these segments right here, and you could easily show they are similar by angle-angle.